partenaire pour la vie oh, Je te jure t'es la seule que je kiffe oh, Maman t'es l'amour de ma vie oh, Je ne peux rien sans toi dans ma vie Bébé je ne pourrais pas m'éloigner Si seulement mon bébé, si seulement tu pouvais voir Combien moi je t'aime mon bébé Si seulement tu peux voir Hello everyone and welcome to this new Adino tutorial. Today we'll be using a joystick module in order to control a servo motor. But first of all, we'll start by explaining what a servo motor is. Servo motor is a type of geared motor that can only rotate 180 degrees, controlled by sending electrical impulses from the Arduino board. The pulses will tell the servo which position it has to move to. And then we have the servo has three wires. The brown wire that goes to the ground, the red wire that goes to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino board, and then the orange wire that is used to control the position of the servo motor. Also, the joystick has five different um, pins. One is the VCC pin that goes to the, um, the 5 volt, the other one is the ground pin that goes to the ground. The X and the, we have the X and the Y pin that is used to control the vertical and the horizontal displacement of the joystick, and then we have the um, a one that is called the key or the SW pin that is used to control the press button, because the um, the joystick can also be used as a small push button. The thumbstick of the, the thumbstick is analog and therefore provides more reading than simple push button or simple switches. And as you can see, you can move like this in order to have a different X and Y coordinate of it. We we'll use the analog pin to read data. We we'll use analog pin from the Arduino board to read data from the X and Y. While we use a digital pin to be able to use the the, the state of the push button. So now let us start cabling. It. Two thousand years later. As you can see, I've already cabled all of the different pins from the joystick to the Arduino board and to the breadboard and I've also done for the servo motor to the Arduino board and to the breadboard. You are going to have the description, the uh, diagram of the of the setup inside the, um, the description of the video. So don't forget to check it there. Now we are going to pass on to the uh, and plug it to the computer in order to insert the code to see how it works. Now we we'll insert the code into, upload the code into it, and then you see. It. After uploading the code, let us try. You see, as I turn the self, the joystick, it moves from zero up to 180 degrees. Okay, getting into the code, starting from here. We first of all start by including the servo library. Then after we declare the pin two, which, are, which is going to take the, val the digital value that is when the button is either pressed or unpressed. And then the X and the Y pin are going to con be connected to another pin zero and another pin one. Then after we create a servo object where which we are going to control the servo motor, declare variable called value that we are going to use to get the value from the analog pin another pin Y1 that is the horizontal value. In the setup we we'll use the function my servo dot attach with nine as a parameter indicating we are going to use pin nine in order to where we are going to connect our servo motor. In the loop part we use the value declared up here is used here to get the value using analog read. And as we all know, analog grid returns a value between 0 and 1023. But as I said earlier, our servo motor goes only from 0 to 180 degrees. Therefore, in this case, we used to use the function map in order to scale the value gotten up here from 0 to 1023 to a value between 0 and 180 degrees. After we have, get, we have gotten the value between in this range, we now use my servo dot write. To, to be able to write this value onto the servo motor that you set the servo motor to that position according to the value value that we got from up there and then now we we'll set a delay a small delay of 15 seconds for the for the servo motor to be able to get to that point and as you can all see 
this setup can be used in order to control this is the same setup that they use in order to control the limbs of a robot or any other thing of such i would like to thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment below if you if you want to express yourself or you want have any question please subscribe to the channel and after subscribing please do not forget to click on the bell button in order to be notified when a new video is up i would like to thank you all for watching share the video hope to see you next friday for another good nice and passionate adino tutorial thank you very much